Hello there, in this video I will show you exercises that you can do to improve the flexibility of your upper body. And flexibility exercises or stretching exercises are good for a couple of things. First of all, they obviously make you more flexible and basically it's always a good thing to be flexible. Second, it will help you reduce muscle soreness after a workout and it will also help you to reduce the chance of getting injured. In this video you will first see a picture of the muscles that you can target with the stretching exercise so first of all the upper back and after that you will see the exercises so the first exercise for the upper back is this one and what you will do is you will grab hold of one of your arms and then you pull towards the other side so if you pull your left hand you will bend to the right side and if you grab your right hand you will pull your body or you will bend your body to the left side. For the next exercise you will sit down on the ground with your legs straight and then you will bring your, both of your arms towards the back. So this is an exercise that will also help you to stretch the upper back muscles as well as some shoulder muscles. And this is the back view of this exercise. And that will bring me to the next muscle group that you will be stretching, which is the chest. And for this exercise you can use a wall or you can use a doorway. And what you will do is place both of your hands on the sides of the doorway and then you will lean forward. A second way to stretch your chest muscles is by placing your hands on the back of your head and then you will bring back your elbows. So this will also give you a great stretch on your chest muscles. Next up are the abdominals and lower back stretches. First of all, this is an abdominal exercise which is also used to target the lower back. And what you will do is lay down flat on the floor and then bend your knees and, and put them on one side of your body and then make sure that you alternate. If you have to do an exercise that can be done left and right, then you will have to do the equal amount of sets and repetitions that I recommend to do. So this is an exercise that can be performed to stretch your abdominals as well. And if you click on bridge tutorial, you will see a more advanced abdominal stretch. So here is the lower back stretching exercise. For this exercise you will sit down on your feet and what you will do is lean forward and place your hands on the floor like I demonstrate in this video. If you have a history of injuries like a lower back injury or problems with your shoulder then please make sure that you first consult a medical professional. Shoulder and neck stretching exercises are a great way to reduce the stress that is built up in your shoulders and neck. and this stress often leads to headaches so by performing these exercises you might reduce your headaches or maybe they will completely disappear for this exercise you can also use a rope to grab hold of the other hand because some people are not flexible enough to to be able to touch their hands behind their back like i do in the top left video the next exercise is mainly a neck stretching exercise and what you will do is grab hold of your right hand and then bend your head to the left and this will stretch your right trapezius muscle and if you perform it the other way so if you will grab your left hand and pull it down and bend your head to the right then you will target the left side of your trapezius muscle so make sure that you alternate and that you perform these the same amount of sets and also the same amount of time for both of the sides. Make sure that you don't stretch too far and by too far I mean that you will reach your pain level. So stretching exercises are often very uncomfortable to hold on for a long amount of time but they shouldn't hurt. The next muscle group is the triceps and for this I chose a very basic but also very effective exercise and what you will do is Use one hand to put on your shoulder blades. So in the lower lower video I am putting my right hand on my left shoulder blade and then you will grab the elbow with your other hand. For the biceps exercise you will need a wall or a closet or something like that. So you will place your hand on the wall or on the closet and then you will turn your body to the front. Just to make clear how your hands are positioned, if you are stretching your right biceps then your fingers will point to the left and if you are stretching your left hand then you will point your fingers to the right. 
final two exercises of this video are for the forearms and for the first exercise you will need to hold out one arm in front of you and then point your fingers to the ceiling what you will do next is use your other hand to pull back the hand that is being stretched so perform this exercise with both of your hands and then you will do the second exercise and for this exercise you will pull you put your fingers towards the floor and then you will use your other hand to pull them backwards as well and of course you will repeat this with your other hand so those were all the exercises hold every exercise for 10 to 15 seconds and if you want to stretch longer you can go for three sets of 30 to 16 seconds but if you only stretch to reduce muscle soreness after a workout i wouldn't go for more than 10 to 15 seconds and obviously you don't have to use every exercise in this video to to do some stretching and especially if you're using it after a workout like your shoulder workout it is not really necessary to also stretch your lower back or your upper back so these exercises can be used individually the comment question what is the most serious injury you have ever had leave your comments in the comment section subscribe to my channel for more videos and click on either one of these videos to see what I have recently uploaded. Thank you for watching and see you next time.